Hey everyone, Spencer Jones here with our Jones in to get fit live cooking show brought to you here from the Jones in kitchen. Now, if you are an avid uh, watcher, listener to our show, you might notice that this is uh, a little bit later, like by two minutes. Uh, we're having a little bit of technical difficulties, but we're here. We're set to rock and roll and bring you an amazing, a delicious, a scrumptious salad. That's right. Today's meal is a protein packed salad that's meatless. Say what? A meatless protein packed salad? Oh yeah, that's right, we're bringing it. This is going to be just amazing with like 22 grams of protein with a simple, like very basic four or five ingredients, something like that, I didn't count, uh, salad. So we're ready to rock and roll. Gotta hurry, uh, oh my gosh, Robert, you better get a thing plugged in here for you so we can make sure you watch the whole show. If not, if you miss it, if you or anybody else misses it, make sure you check out our YouTube channel um, I'll get that in the links in the copy after this, so you can just click that. Subscribe. We have Jones and to Get Fit, our Jones and Media uh, things being pumped out there, our uh, Jones and for like Eerie mini series and other mini series, tips, tricks, all that good stuff happening. So be sure to check out our YouTube channel. Just search Jones and to Get Fit and you'll find us. Boom. Okay, enough of this. Let's get to the salad. So we have a little bit different setup, a different uh, camera here, so let me know what you think. I know lighting's a little bit different as well. So let me, go, uh, let me know what you think. First thing you need is salad, right? So you need lettuce, kale, um, any salad fixings. Now you can get it your... Oh, we're back, all right. I wasn't sure I was hopping around dancing, but we're back, all right. So for the salad, you need salad fixings, right? Salad, kale, lettuce, whatever. I am lazy, I'm lazy, That's scary, I know, right? So I get um, the prepackaged family pack salad right it's locally grown awesome because i don't have a garden of my own because i'm lazy and i don't like like gardening weeding no thank you anyway i have that you have spring onions right green onions little things it's cute all oh, make sure you rinse them they're good to go you need broccoli Ooh, I love broccoli as much as you'd like for one salad this is for katie and i so i'll be chopping those up a little a little bit more not too much carrots any other salad toppings you like Quinoa. Now, you could use couscous. Where's the camera? There it is. Quinoa. You could use that as well. Um, that's what I'm using. I'm using organic quinoa. Or you can use couscous, things like that. That is going to help give you that protein pack. And here's the money. This is the thing that makes it so protein packed. It is just going to blow your freaking mind. Um, <clears throat> again, 22 grams of protein for uh, you know a serving. Pretty huge. All right. So it is... Queso para freya. How do you say that? Freya? Something like that. In any case, it's frying cheese. So this cheese, now I found it at Festival Foods. Um, I went to Pick and Save, they didn't have it. So I went to Festival Foods. You might have to search around a little bit, ask them for a frying cheese. All right, we're back, all right, cool. So um, ask them for a frying cheese because that's going to what it is, is unlike other cheeses, you can put it on your grill, on your stove top, on a griddle, or on the stove, and it's not going to melt, right? The key thing, it's not gonna melt. So that's going to be helpful for you. So frying cheese, we got the queso cheese here that we're gonna use, it comes in a block. All right, so to get you set up, first we gotta get the quinoa on. So I have a half of a cup, just shy of a half cup of quinoa for Katie and I. We're gonna put that in our pot there, turn it on. And you need one, oh, wait, turn on, that's my help. I need two cups, so it's a two to one ratio, one cup quinoa, two parts water. So we're gonna drop that in real quick. One, two, off camera like that, because we're fancy here in our Jones and to get the kitchen. And then the back burn, because that one always seems to work a little better. All right, and we're gonna cover that, we're gonna keep it on high, and let that boil up so the quinoa gets cooked. As that's cooking, um, I'm just gonna push this broccoli off for a second. We have our onions. So what we're going to do is we're gonna top uh, our tail of the onion. And we're back, okay, yay. Sorry about all the cutting in and out, folks. It's getting real aggravating. I apologize for that. So what you're gonna do with your onions is you're gonna cut off the root section, just a little bit of that. Got that one, got that one. There we go, put it off to the side. And then I like slicing them the long way just to make it a little bit thinner. There we go, I got our spring onions. And then we're just gonna chop them, we're gonna grab the knife safely. And then 
chopped up and small and is not small. Little bits. And you're going to go until you have about an inch and a half, two inches left from the top. All right, so you don't use all of the top part. There we go. Got that all chopped up. Now we're going to add the spring onions to our quinoa. This is just for an extra little flavor boost. Um, I like to have in there. Got that, and I have a little bit of garlic powder as well. We're going to sprinkle that in there. So a little garlic powder, a little spring onions. It's gonna be delicious. Cover that sucker back up. It doesn't burn. Oof, we're set to go. Okay, so now we're gonna turn on our griddle. So I'm using it over here on the stove. Let me turn the camera a little bit so you can see. Boom, there we are, folks. Whoa, and crazy. It's light. It's crazy. Where is it coming from? I don't know. It, it'll, we'll make it. So turn on the burner here. And now I have a cast iron griddle on, so we're set to work. Let me turn off the light. I think that's creating that glare. That's... Okay, we're back. I'm going to be switching to my laptop here. Hopefully that'll work a little bit better than the camera or than my iPad's working at the moment. Quality of the picture might not be quite as great, but at least we'll get it to work. Um, so while I have you, before I switch over, um, we're just going to, I got the griddle going here. Um, it's a cast iron one, so you're going to spray it down with a little bit of oil and a little bit of olive oil. The spray it down, and then we're going to add our broccoli to it. We're going to grill our broccoli essentially. So we have our broccoli here. I left them bigger chunks, bigger pieces. Kind of weird, a little different having the camera reversed like this. All right, so we're going to turn the light so I can see a little bit more what I'm doing here. There we go. And now we're just going to place them. Oop, yeah, it's heating up, but it'll be good. I'm going to place them on here. Now, you can just dump them on. I'm going to be a little more romantic about it and place them. Just to be fancy about it. And I'll bring you over here to show you what it looks like in a little bit. All right, so if you cut too much, that is okay, like we did over here, like I did. Cut a little too much, it's all good. What you do, you just eat it. Mm. Amazing. So once you get your broccoli on, you're gonna spray a little bit of olive oil. It's gonna help the garlic powder that you're gonna put on. That's not garlic powder. Here's garlic powder. Stick to it. All right, you're just sprinkling on. Mm -hmm. Starting to hear it sizzle. It's gonna be perfect. That's all you need to do, right? Any other seasonings you want for it, feel free to throw on. I'm just putting on the garlic powder because that's what I want. Just a little bit of garlic, a garlic and onion happening in the quinoa. Woo! Garlic there. We should be set to go. Okay, so now prepping for the rest of this. First, you want to open up your piece of cheese. All right, so you have this frying cheese. It's a little different. Again, Make sure you, you look around for it first. Uh, it comes out as a block of cheese, right? It's cheese. And it's gonna be a saltier cheese. It does have, you know, depending on what your diet is, you know, it's made with milk, all that good stuff, so be careful of, you know, it has a lot more, um, what am I looking for, like saturated fats in it, and those types of things. But it's okay, right? You can have it in uh, within reason, right? So balance out your diet. You don't have to go crazy. No, 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 I can't have any of that. No, you can't. Just be smart about it. This is a protein pack. This is where the protein comes from. And the quinoa, which we're going to stir really quickly. All right, that's cooking down pretty well here. I got that turned down a little bit when the camera wasn't working. So what we're going to do is we're going to slice the cheese here into about mm, a centimeter thick or so pieces. We're going to cut up. Uh, uh, six pieces, we'll say. Three, four, five. Now, I'm making this for Katie myself, so it's two servings worth. Just so you know, there we go. We have six pieces. There's a camera. There we go. Six glorious pieces, so you can kind of see the thickness of them all. That one's cut in two. There you go. So, it kind of gives you an idea of what it looks like. All right, so we got our cheese set to go. Our Broccoli's grilling up here, getting some nice little grill marks on it already. I'm gonna grab um, a spatula quick. Our tongs. They're set to go. I'm gonna do this one. All right, getting you tested beforehand, extremely helpful. Don't be like me and go in all last minute. If you do, 
It's okay. It's not going to be the end of the world. So we're just going to toss that around in there. Get that all cooked up. Now you can cook your broccoli more. You can boil it if that's something you like. For me, I don't like my broccoli um, really soft. I like it a little more uh, crunchy. So I'm just grilling it. So I get it heated up and it's delicious. Ah! Thank you, Barnabas. And our quinoa is done. So we're going to shut it off. Now you know it's done when all the water is to it. And remember, it's a two to one ratio for that when you've cooked it. So when all the water has gone, it's pretty much done, right? You can always add more if you need, um, if you like it a little softer, but that looks perfect. All right, we're going to just keep that covered off the heat and let it cool for a little bit. Now, our <coughs> pan with the broccoli is on a high heat right now. Not super high, but high heat, and it's cooking pretty well. We're going to be throwing the cheese on, so the cheese is going to take a little bit. Now, unlike other cheeses, right, we got the frying cheese, as I mentioned earlier, because it doesn't melt. So, well, it probably will after a high enough temperature, but with this, you should be fine. So we got a high heat, we got our six slices, I'll bring you over here to look at that. Ooh, you can hear it. Four. I get space for more. Five, and... Six. So let me bring you over here, see what that grill looks like. So we're cooking it up. Shut the light off so you can actually see. Alright, so there's obviously the broccoli and the six pieces on the griddle, cooking it up. Quinoa, cooking area, all that stuff. So that's going to take a couple minutes here to fry up for us. Hello. So it's going to take a little bit to fry up here. It's really hard to see me, okay? A little dark, that's ah, okay, we'll make it. So then what you're going to do is you're going to add the, you're going to prep this out. So what I like to do is open this up. There we go. Fresh local salad. Not for my garden though. And then you're just going to put some in. Measure it out to how much you like. That one there. You can measure out my measuring, the uh, Jones in four measuring. Just like this. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And mm hmm. There we go. It's good. Yeah, close that back up. And then we're going to put the quinoa on. So, as if I can be smart enough to close the container, I'll get it later. It's not worth it. I'm going to turn the light back out. It's a little hard to see. There we go. A little bit of a glare. There, we can see a little bit better now. And you can see what this ugly mug. Scary, I know. Don't cry. All right, we're gonna turn the cheese. We're gonna turn that down just a little bit to about medium. Now, the cheese is melting, so we gotta be careful here. Um, I didn't anticipate it to melt this quickly. So we're gonna turn it down. Which, uh, fun part of doing a lot of cooking shows, things happen. You just go with the flow. Oh yeah. Here we go, oh, it's got nice grill marks on it. Can you imagine cheese with grill marks? Oh yeah. It almost, it kind of, like, tricks you like it's tofu because you're like oh look it's white and has grill marks nope it's cheese yes oh and who doesn't love cheese let me show you what this looks like here folks is it is it's amazing i'm just honest it's amazing look at that does that look incredible what all right we're gonna going to uh just give this broccoli a little bit, don't want it to burn. Oh yeah, there we go. We're gonna shut that off. The cast iron is gonna hold the heat up to you, or if you're on your grill. All right, you leave it on there for a little bit, up to you whenever that cheese is ready. So we have our salad set. Got a little bit extra stuff here, that's all right. And then, so salads, check. Bring you over here so you can see what I'm doing a little more. Push that back. All right, now for our carrots. I almost forgot about these things. So what I do is I top and tail, and just top, uh, cut off the top and cut off the bottom part. When I use my hands, my wife yells at me, but I told her, <laughs> nice, I like it, Robert. Yeah, um, don't get your wife mad at you. That would not be good. Um, using your hands, it burns. I've done it, it hurts. That's no fun. He's out of here so you can see. Um, I'm just topping and tailing, as I said. So top them, tail, that's just that bottom and top part. It doesn't have to be a lot, right? It could be a quarter inch, half inch, something like that. Now I'm cutting a long way. Now, I suggest not doing this with the hands. It'd be all messy and really hard. Use a knife. I'm just cutting them in half. 
a long way. Kind of making big slivers. That one didn't work out so well. That's all right. Flat cookie show, right? So you just made the two into four. And all I'm doing here is I'm cutting them into about mm, two inch, inch and a half little slices of carrots. Now you could slice them thinner, you could quarter them, uh, you know, cut them in half again after you cut them in half. That works. Whoa, piece on the floor for Barnabas. And if you have a dog, supples on the floor, that's a treat. They don't, they don't know. They think you did it intentionally. We have time like, oh yeah, there you go. It's all good. Okay, so we have the lettuce and the mixture on our plates. Boom, boom. Now we're going to add our, as you see, using the spatula for this, it's unique, it's crazy. We're going to add the quinoa. Ooh, yeah, just spread it right on top there. With onion and onion and pepper on it. Oh, or pepper. Garlic. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. It's been a crazy day, folks. I was out trout fishing earlier today. It was awesome. Except the trout did not want to play. Quite sad. One thing I did talk about earlier, if you check out my personal page, is going after your passions to the max and how being healthy and fit and eating well can help you chase your passion. So making meals like this can help you feel amazing and be uh, and just feel on top of your game so that you are ready to chase your passions to the max. Whether that's kai fishing, whether it's just fishing, hunting, traveling, spending time with family, whatever it is you can do to the max by living well, eating well, being healthy. If that's something that interests you, obviously it does. You're watching the show. You're watching how to eat healthy. If you want to get pumped, get ripped, get boom, fit, hit me up. Let me know. I'm here to help you and we can make it happen. And ask yourself, are you a hammer or a nail? Be the hammer. Come on, folks. Join up with me. We'll make this happen. Uh, what is quinoa? Quinoa. Oh, quinoa. Quinoa. That's, um, so quinoa, show it right there, organic quinoa. It is a, a protein-packed, nutrient-packed uh, starch, like rice, except more, what do I say? It's more like, um, it's rice in the sense, but it's less starchy than rice. So it's going to have uh, a lot more protein, a lot more nutrients than rice would. So it's a healthier option. I like it. Some people aren't quite a fan of the texture. Couscous could work as well. Um, up to you. Um, but give it a shot. Um, quinoa. Just amazing stuff. I, I love the organic uh, quinoa. All right, so we're almost done with our salad here. We're just going to top it with our broccoli. Beautiful. I'm trying to get these big ones up. Okay. Robert, your wife can yell at me. We are going with the hands. Woo! Be careful. Don't sue me if you get burned. Please, I appreciate not being sued. All right, so we have a cheese here, all grilled up. I'm gonna try to cut it up a little bit. Got melted a little bit together, that's all right. There we go. Two there. Come on, come on. And if this happens to you, you know what? It's okay, you're gonna make it. It's still freaking delicious. There we go, there's one more. Perfect. I'll put this one on this salad, these couple pieces here. Any extra stuff in the pan? That's your little treat for being awesome and making dinner. Your family doesn't have to know that there's a little bit extra in the pan. Look at that. They don't need to know. Except Katie hears me now, so she knows. That's not good. Shh, using my hands again. Okay. That's your treat. You can enjoy that. You're awesome. There we go. The show is cutting in and out, but we made it work. I thank you for sticking along and watching it. If you watch this on YouTube, it's kind of blotchy, but you'll make it. It's going to be okay. Here's your protein packed salad. Super easy, super delicious. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, look at that. You have your frying cheese, which you see did melt a little bit, but it's going to make it that much more amazing. Quinoa, carrots, broccoli, salad. Now, salad dressing, if you want, you can add your favorite type on there. For me, this doesn't eat much. I'm going to add just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Just a little bit. Hold it down. You just got to add just a little drizzle. Uh, mm -hmm. 
perfect. And one more of this one. Mm -hmm. oh, there we go. You're done. That's what you get. Protein packed salad. Meatless. Who would have guessed? You get muscles like that. Diamonds of gold from eating that. All right, thanks for joining me, folks. Make sure you hit up Jones and you get fit on YouTube. Subscribe. We've got lots of cool things happening there. If you want to see me make a meal, if you have any questions, requests, anything like that, challenges. Ooh, challenge me. I like a good challenge. Uh, put it in the comments below or message me. Uh, love to hear it. And let's see what we can do. All right, be healthy, be happy, be fit. Hit me up if you want to work out with me. I can help you go after your goals to the max. Cool. All right, catch y'all later. Katie, what'd you say? Quinoa, health benefits. Ooh, thank you, Katie. She's on top of it. Catch y'all later.